make loops. So um, that's basically an overview of what differentials are. So uh, point speed, wheel spin, and different speed. Blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. So all these kind of all these methods have their own pros and cons, and I would say. Interestingly enough, FSE is a place where you could probably justify using any of these uh, if you found like a lightweight uh, way to implement it. So if you look at the open diff, uh, the pro is you don't have that resistive yaw moment, so your car just you know it turns really nicely. Uh, but then the problem is you lose power when you're getting out of your corners. Uh, you have the spool which is upside down, so the advent is you get no power loss, but um, you, yeah, you potentially have a lot of resistance to, to turning. Um, but that once again kind of depends on your own track width, what the course looks like, uh, a lot of different uh, parameters like that. Then you have the, uh, the clutch back diff, which is the one we're using this year. So pros, it's easy to adjust, it's easy to understand and model mathematically. And it's it's getting pretty close to like what you want ideally from a diff. The only way to make it even more ideal is to go into active systems. So having like an, an electronic differential that controls the pressure on the plates um, using a control system. Uh, this advantage is is complex related relative to these two diffs. Uh, a lot of parts. It's expensive to buy and. Um, it does have, usually you have to kind of preload the plates, so there's always this initial loading on the plates that you need to overcome in order, in order to get them uh, to get them differentiating. Um, and then you get to the torsion. So the advantage the torsion has over the clutch back is it doesn't have its preload, uh, which can be advantageous. And there's some, I mean, I've kind of been trying to, to determine this for the past two years. Supposedly, there's an advantage in the way these gears are configured. Um, unfortunately, this is very difficult uh, to model, uh, like numerically. So I've never, I mean, I spent a lot of time trying to understand it. It never really worked so well. Uh, this is where the drawback is, because you can't adjust it that easily. Um, you can't model it very easily, so pretty much it has to work in your car, and if it doesn't, well, you know, at least the clutch back, you, you can adjust the preload, you can adjust those little ramp angles, so you can pretty much tune it to the behavior, behavior you want it to, uh, to have. So, that's a pretty good overview. Uh, if you guys have any questions. Yeah. Yeah, the, if you reuse the clutch back system, is there a wire like, connected directly from the the gas pedal that goes to the clutch back, or does that work? So the way it works, essentially, um, so you're applying torque to this casing right here, mm -hmm. and what this casing does is it itself applies, the torque goes from the casing to the cages right here, and then the cages apply the torque to the planet gears, right? So the kind of spreading action you have is actually from these cages trying to push gear around. So obviously because of this angle here, you see that if, if these try to move like that, uh, like the fact that there's a ramp is going to try to pry them out, and that's what's going to apply the uh, pressure to your clutches. So it's simply based on the torque input to the differential. So if you're applying torque by braking the car, does it open the other way? Does it like open yes. instead of closing? So that's why you have, uh, this is another image, so you have one side that has like usually how it happens when you spec your differential is you can uh, you can say what ramp angle you want here, what ramp angle you want there. So what this does is it controls how the diff behaves when you're applying like torque like on the gas pedal or when you're braking. So here for example, when you apply torque with the gas, you have a 45 degree angle, which is actually quite big. So this means you're gonna get a lot of spreading force, which means you're going to be, you're going to tend to like your wheels a lot more, which is good on corner exit. Um, on braking, however, in this case, uh, you have no um, no ramp angle here, which means the diff is going to stay essentially like loose when you're coming into your corner and braking, which 
can or cannot be good depending on your situation. Usually when it's when your wheels are looser, when you're coming to the corner, it means it all depends on the Yeah. But yeah, you can adjust uh, how it behaves on uh, on throttle and on braking. Any more questions?